So this is the comparison of the old, the 4S, and the new. You can see the difference in the screen size, although in terms of the width, uh, the new one is pretty much exactly the same width as the old. When you put it into your hand and hold it there, you can easily reach, certainly I can easily reach with my hand, the top button. You can see that you get, uh, you get more detail onto the screen. So you have a larger, a larger page. Turn on inside, you get more information there. It's noticeable, it's not visible, it's not very visible, but the, uh, the new phone is, actually feels much thinner in the hand. There's quite a difference in terms of how thick it, how thick it is. It definitely feels very light. It's, uh, it's hardly there in your hand at all. It's, um, it feels a lot less present than the Samsung Galaxy S3, which feels like a very big phone. You're very aware you have a large phone in your hand. Whereas this is, uh, is comfortable, there's something about the edges which is uh, a little tactile. It's not such, um, it's not such a sort of a present phone. You, you just have it in your hand, you're not particularly aware of it. So this is a panoramic view that's been stitched together by holding the camera and moving around so that you're actually capturing a whole scene while standing in one place and moving the camera around. It's done automatically by the software. People like Microsoft have had this for a while, um, but this is quite an elegant form of it. Um, Samsung has uh, something rather like it in the, uh, the Galaxy S3. Um, again, the, uh, the, the, pudding, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating, really looking at how good it is at coping with variations in light and brightness. The camera's um, been slightly improved, the software has uh, improved. And this is the panorama setting. So it tells you to move the iPhone continuously and take in the panorama. And it's a left to right movement. So you start there. It tells you where to keep the arrow. And now it's stitched together the panorama. It's a very dark one, but that's uh, pretty much oh, about 240 degrees or so of uh, panorama there. I didn't move the camera very quickly. The phone is a bit thinner, it's a bit lighter. It has LTE, so that's super fast networking. It has the new iOS 6 software, which means that you have functions like do not disturb. You can set times when it shouldn't wake you up. You have the new maps function from Apple, which will show you uh, aerial views. It also does turn-by-turn -turn navigation. This is all Apple stuff. It's not using Google's maps anymore. And uh, the differences are, are going to be very interesting to compare against all the Google products and the uh, Microsoft Windows Phone products. And that's the new iPhone 5.